Oh, not you again. Today we've got someone returning to the channel. We've got Zach's 2005 Toyota Corolla T Sport. We'll get him on the channel, obviously, take a walk around, and I'll give you my honest repu uh, review on it. Catch you in, the gut in a bit, guys. Peace. So we're joined with Zach again with another car, and yeah, nice to have you back on the channel again. This is what my third car now. I yeah, third car on it. I would have been on here a lot more because of you know other cars, but. but. They're, they're, they've been shitters, so <laughs> nothing to show off. But I'm back again, back is. in a Toyota. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, this is my 05 uh, T Sport. Uh, nice. 197 brake from standard. Don't know torque figures, don't really care because it's fast. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, it's 1.8 VVT LI. Ooh. L stands for lift, and lift is basically uh, Toyota's answer to VTEC. VTEC, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a fun car. Yeah. Um, this is literally how I picked it up. Um, yeah. So it's. Standard, but not standard, if that makes sense. Well, yeah. I'll walk you around and tell you what's, yeah. what the crack is. So, it's a facelift model, you can tell, because like my Yaris, it's got the teardrop headlights. Yeah. Um, and it's got the more aggressive looking front bumper, which I absolutely love. Yeah. Um, and then, it's just got the normal T-Sport slash SR alloys as well. Yeah. Um, I don't know why they didn't change them for the T-Sports, but... It is what it is. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's also lowered as well. It's lowered about 30, 35 mil. Um, I'm not sure what springs it's on. Yeah. But I know it has been lowered, and to compete with that as well, if I walk you around to the other end of the car quickly, we've got a nice big old exhaust. Um, so this is a three inch cat back. Obviously my Yaris had a two inch cat back, so basically the same setup. Three inch cat back into a back box, I'm not sure what back box it is, yeah. but it sounds bloody lovely. I think what we'll do in a second is obviously get the uh, viewers a little clip of that, cheeky little clip of a rev. Oh, I don't know why it cost me so much petrol. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, other than that, it's totally standard. It's obviously got the TTE spoiler. Um, yeah. It's got a T uh, Sport rear bumper. I think this is also the same rear bumper as what they put on the SRs as well. Yeah. Uh, and one thing as well that I'm not 100% sure about, I'm pretty sure the tail lights are facelifted as well. I know they was on the Yaris. Yeah, they look like it actually, to be fair. They do look like it, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if they kept it between pre facelift and facelift. Yeah. Um, and then if we walk onto the inside. Um, Irritating bleep because yeah. it's a Japanese car. As you do. Uh, I'm out. Don't eat my key. Thank you. Um, so one really rare thing that this has got, it's got a complete set of genuine T-Sport floor mats, um, which oh, are yeah. really, really hard to come by for them. Yeah. Um, and they're really expensive if you do find them. Yeah. Uh, as standard, it comes with the metal effect. Yeah. Go faster pedals. Um, even though I don't make the car go faster. <laughs> um, it had a shitty gear knob on it when the previous owner got it, so yeah. he actually got a genuine MR2 uh, gear knob, metal yeah. one. Yeah, I'm which... just getting that. Yeah, it's going to come across obviously reflective because of where we're viewing, but they get the idea obviously. Yeah, um, and then obviously as well, in the traditional T-Sport fashion, you've got the white dials, which are absolutely lovely. You know what, I like them on these cars. Like The nice white dials gives a nice sporty appearance. Yeah, it does, definitely, 100%. 110%. Um, but yeah, on the inside, that's about it. It's got aircon, which works lovely. That's um, good. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about the only luxury it's got. It's got a trip computer that tells you how deep your pockets need to be. Because um, <laughs> fuel economy is not a thing on this car at all. No. And um, one other thing it's got as well, hello Van. Uh, one other <laughs> thing it's got as well, if I open the boot, number one, the boot is humongous for a hatchback. That's but this, good. This is a genuine Toyota Corolla rubber floor mat. Whereas nine times out of 10, when you look at these cars, they're either taken out or they're just, or just uh, reps. Yeah, exactly. 
So yeah, that's about it. Under the under the engine, which isn't worth showing, uh, it's got a Cosworth panel filter. And that's all right. That's, that's about it. Yeah. But yeah. But no, right. again, going back to like the history of these cars, we were speaking off camera. These came out when the EP3s, yeah. and these were supposed to be when it was marketed. Obviously, these were going to be the rival to the EP3. They still are, to be fair. I mean, yeah. obviously, EP3's got VTEC, this has lift. Um, I mean, similar engine sizes and displacements, uh, yeah. similar brake horsepower figures. EP3's 200 brake standard, this is 197. So, uh, I mean, really, these cars, if you think about it, these are a good all, the, like most people call these, these are a good alternative to an EP3. It is. It is a really good alternative. The only thing that I can fault with this in comparison to the EP3 is you can tell that the EP3 is lighter. It yeah. feels a lot lighter to drive. This does feel a little heavier. But obviously, as you said, off camera, this being an ongoing project and being on your channel, suspension wise, you can get aftermarket parts for these, obviously, like springs and everything. Yeah, exactly. So, you can, the thing is with these cars, you can tackle any odds and sods yeah yeah pretty much i mean it's a good basis to start with the same as what my yaris was so yeah can't really complain yeah um and you guys are lucky as well because assuming this is going live tonight i'm not too sure if yeah it, is, it will be tonight guys you guys actually get to see this car in action before it's on action in action on my channel my so channel i've only got the reveal i haven't actually filmed a driving video so this is pretty much an exclusive video today of you obviously getting it on the channel and reviewed yeah and getting it on yeah. the youtube platform driving yeah <laughs> so, so the next best thing i want to say is obviously let's take this out for a spin and see how it handles yeah definitely so guys you join me from the passenger seat of zach's 2005 toyota corolla t-sport and on first impressions it's lovely actually like the seats are nice and comfortable that's one good thing that we both said like off camera jap cars like hatchbacks or whatever they do know how to get them bright they like do. comfort and everything like that they do definitely but no i mean these cars are it's something different if that makes sense like because do you see a lot of them about i know it sounds stupid to say not, that not many but we have an empty straight and we're on the cuban strip and lifts like you know yeah there's so many and it's true what people say when like you get people that review them and everything like that yeah the engine just has a whole different character it does it um, goes from your nice like economy like style like little right and then it just opens up yeah exactly and the thing is as well as where this is six speed you can cruise in this car yeah i mean you know if you want to proper go for it like i said lift kicks in at six two um, but if you just want to cruise, just keep it moderate and normal driving. I mean, even in sixth gear doing 30, this car will still pull. Yeah, because um, it's got, well, it's got some good tilt then for that. It does, it, it, it's really talky. Well, you know, for a petrol engine, it's, it's yeah. quite talky. Yeah. But, like, literally, if I go, there you go. And that's but, it, guys. But, 30 and I'm doing 1500 RPM. Yeah, and it's still pulling. And it's just like, if I want to step on it. It's there. It is there. But no, it's like, these cars are something like, again, we'll keep on comparing it to the EV3 because they're both like that mechanism of yeah. like mechanical engineering and everything like that. But you know when you're in something like that, if that makes sense, because you, you see all the videos of everyone that's got like the EP3s and a couple of these where they've been gunning it and everything like that. Yeah. I think it's a clever bit of kit that they do from like the factory because you get best of both and if that you makes do. sense. You do. And the thing that I like with this as well, the same as what I said with the Yaris, to get any performance out of this car, you, you need to be on edge with it, you need to push it. And I like a car that you need to push to get the most out of. It just makes it more fun to drive. It makes it, um, what's the word I'm looking for? More of more fun, or? but more driver focused. More yeah. fun, yeah. More more driver focused because it's like you know you drive the ass off of your car because you want to drive it, and uh, that's what this car does quite well. It makes yeah. you drive the ass off of it. So, um, but yeah, no, I thought oh, there's a DC two. Is that a DC two? It is a DC two. No, it's 
Nå, no, sådan... Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Hey, isn't it? So, you always take you to the best spots. <laughs> <laughs> but... We'll, we'll let this get ahead a little. Yeah. Play a little bit catch up with a mock, I guess. See if we can do it before he pulls on, yeah? Yeah. Facelift one of these. The prices of these start as cheap as 750 quid. Yeah. And it's just like you can't go wrong. Like yeah, yeah granted you you know you need to expect like rust or something yeah. like that. But you still get Toyota reliability. Yeah. Say sporty models or something like that. Yeah. You know, like it the takes a so little long, bit. It's like, yeah. oh come on, come on. But this, it's just like a happy. I don't want to say little, but like what I'm saying is, it's a happy hatchback, yeah. sporty hatchback that loves to go on and on. It's like, yeah, I want. As you're saying, you can push these cars. Yeah. It's a real driver-focused car. It is. Like it is the S2000s, like yeah. the early S2000s, where to get them. You had to get them up to like 1100, 9. That's yeah. the sweet spot. Whereas I think this has got a nice sweet spot at what's the RPM it kicks? 6.2 is when this kicks in. 6.2. So yeah. that's its, you know, and it will happily go up to, like you said, nearly. It's 8.5, eight, eight I think it tops out at a good amount of the Jesus Christ. Yeah. But that's the thing, these cars are just, they're so fun. They are. They are incredible fun. And like, like they are now, if you want to. Just cruising, yeah, cruising it. that's it. And it is a, I would say, a sensible daily driver. It isn't because fucking MPG figures are awful in this car. <laughs> I mean, in fact, I'll go over that quickly. Um, so yeah, these aren't economical at all. These these are actually really expensive to run. I mean, this this car is three hundred and forty six pound a year on road tax if you direct debit it. Yeah. That works out to be twenty eight pound a month. Jeez which is quite expensive for this. Yeah. Um, and then MPG wise, um, on a good run, if you, you know, if you're like motorway driving and stuff like that, you'll, you'll be lucky to see 40 MPG out of it. <laughs> yeah, you'll be lucky. Um, what is that to do with, you know, the lift or is it just how the engine's set just, up? Just how the engine's set up and the ratios in the gears. Yeah. Cause even in sixth gear going down a motorway or something like that, you're still um, you're still revving at about three and a half grand yeah. at, at, at motorway speeds, and that's yeah, it's, it's not ideal. Um, and then if you're just do, doing normal town driving, which is what I'm doing this most of the time, you're yeah. seeing figures around 25 to 30 mpg, which yeah. is fucking awful. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then if you're in lift, you'll be lucky to see seven. Jesus Christ! Seven and mpg I, is the best it does in lift. And guys, I thought my impressor was bad. Yeah. Considering like the caliber and the engine displacement between the both, yeah. like you know, we're talking a massive gap. But my God, yes. Yeah. So if you're looking for a little economy, run around, take me to work, take me to the shop, sort yeah, of. Yeah. Part, this is not it. <laughs> <laughs> By far, is this not it? <laughs> no. But 
No. But with something like this though, it's Smiles Big Allen. It's not yeah. Miles Big Allen. Smiles Big Let's Smiles be honest, Allen. this is pretty much, like you said, you can date it if you want to, but if you think about it, it's um, really, it's like a weekend toy. It is like a weekend toy, but unfortunately I don't have the, no, the, no, no. the credibility to run too no. fast because I'm in my own place. But yeah, no, I'm just saying, you know, like it could be used like, you know, if you want one, you could easily do that as something like that, you know? Yeah, exactly. So that's not too bad. But yeah, no, thanks for um, thinking it, like bringing it down to uh, on the channel. And it's nice to see you again, mate. Yeah, it's been a while, isn't it? Yeah, it has been a while, I so. Mean, it's, it's been a while, but at the same time, like, I've just been flat out with everything. So, man, so. to be fair. But it's a good catch up and everything like that, mate. Oh yeah, definitely. Obviously, plug your channel if you want, and uh, yeah, your you socials. Yeah, if you if you want to see the build, um, I'll be building it on my channel. Uh, it might be slower progress than, than it was with the RS, especially towards the end of when I had the RS, because yeah. like I just said, I do have my own place now, so I can't always spunk all my funds on cars now. No, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, if you want to follow the build, head over to my channel, uh, ZG Vlogs. I'm pretty sure I'll be left in the description. Yeah, I'll put like a that. link in there for that, and obviously your social media. I'll put a link yeah. in there so you guys can follow any my, progress. My social media hasn't changed from when it was with the Yaris. It's still no. like that Jap Grap box. Yeah. Um, I've also got a Facebook page as well, which is uh, ZG Vlogs Official, uh, and I've also got TikTok as well. Yeah, I'm one of them people. Uh, don't judge. Um, yeah, uh, so I've also got um, ZG Vlogs as well. Uh, ZG okay. Vlogs Official on TikTok. So, okay. Uh, so yeah. Well, I'll put your Facebook down there and like, obviously your uh, Insta and your channel because they'll be like your main ones, obviously, if that makes sense. Yeah. So if anyone wants to get in contact with you for like reviews or anything like that, there's that as well. Yeah. But yeah, no, I've enjoyed this actually from passenger's point of view. This is lovely. It is. It is a nice car. I do, so, I do enjoy it. Yeah. But I'm going to end the video there, guys. Again, thank you for bringing this on. That's Good fine. catch up. And yeah, I don't know when the next one will be. Probably around about June time, guys. So yeah, I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Peace.